finding the derivative of these two functions using product rule. So the product rule, again, you are taking the derivative of a product of two function, f times g, so that is equals to fg prime plus gf prime. So the first function, we have 4x squared minus 3, and then 2 square root of x plus 1. So the square root of x is just uh, x raised to the 1 half power, right? So let's write this. 4x squared minus 3, and then this is 2x to the half power plus 1. So fg prime, gf prime. So f prime of x, that is equals to you. fg prime, so we copy the first product and then take the derivative of the second product ddx 2x to a 1 half plus 1 and then we plus 2x to the 1 half plus 1 and then the derivative of the first product so this is ddx 4x squared minus 3 all right do you have to write this line uh if you are very familiar with product rule you don't have to but i am trying to explain something to you so when you explain something to someone who never studied this before show your work f prime so this is 4x squared minus 3 and then we bring the one half down right so this is 2 and then bring the one half down and then one half minus 1 is negative one half the derivative of 1 is equals to 0 plus copy this so one half plus 1 and then the derivative so you bring the 2 down so that is 8 and then x2 minus 1 is equals to 1. The derivative of 3 is equals to 0. Okay, so now the derivative is done. And then usually 95% of the time, your instructors would like you to simplify the derivative and then box your final answer. So let's do it. So f prime of x, that is equals to you. So you have to take um, 4x squared times x to the negative 1 half, right? So that would be, uh, so this is just a 1, all right? So this is just a 1. So 4 times that, so this is 4x, 2 minus a half. So that will be a 3 over 2, right? And then times 3, mi minus 3 times that, all right? So 4 times that, so 2 minus a half. So that will be a 4 minus 1 equals to 3. Okay, so the first expansion is correct, and then you add 2 times that, so this is 2 times 8, 16, and then x1 plus 1 half, so that is a 3 over 2, and then 1, plus eight, one times 8x, so that is just 8x. Anything to simplify? Yes, the 4 and the 16, so that is equals to 20, x to the 3 over 2, and then minus 3, x to a negative 1 half, and then plus ax. So this is your final answer. Oh, uh, one, one more thing. Uh, what if they do not take rational exponent and negative exponent? Then you have to write uh, 20, the square root of x to the third, and then minus 3 divided by the square root of x, and then plus ax if they do not take negative exponent but I do take rational exponent and negative exponent. All right, that's the first problem. Let's move on to the next function. The next function is in orange. So let's copy the function. Oh, I don't need to copy, right? I have technology. So copy and paste. Good. So what's the product rule again? The product rule is fg prime, fg prime plus gf prime. Derivative, fg prime, so we copy f, and then take the derivative of the second factor, so which is x minus 4 times x to the negative 1, and then plus x minus 4 divided by x, and then f prime, so f prime is d dx, so that is taking the derivative of the first factor. All right, let's do the derivative. So copy this, x squared minus 3x plus 1. And then this one, the derivative of x, the slope of a linear function x, which is equals to 1. Bring the negative 1 down, so you have a past the 4. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. And then plus x minus, oh, this I will just put negative 1 in there 
because that makes the next step convenient. The derivative of x squared, the derivative of 3x, the derivative of 1 is equals to 0. Let's just don't write the 0. All right, so now the derivative is done, and then the next step is expand and simplify. So f prime of x, that is equals to x squared times 1. Oh, I don't need any parentheses anymore. x squared times 1, and then x squared times 4x to the negative 2. So that will be just a 4 only because the x squared and x to the negative 2 got cancelled. And then minus 3x and then minus 12. And then that will be 1 minus 2. So that will be a negative 1. And then um, 1 times 1. And then 1 times 4x to the negative 2. Wow, I better check my work because, you know, when it comes to x, a long expansion, check your work. So we have x squared times 1, got it. x squared times 4x to the negative 2, got it. Negative 3x times 1, negative 3x times 4x to the negative 2, so negative 12, 1 minus 2, 1 times 1, 1 times 4x negative 2, good. And then plus, so this plus can be over down here, and then x times 2x, so that is 2x squared minus 3x and then minus 8x negative 1 plus 1 is equals to 0 so that is just a negative 8 right so let's erase the x and then finally negative 4 times negative 3 so we have positive 12 x to the negative 1 let's make a good habit check our work 2x times x 2x squared x times negative 3 negative 3x negative 4 times negative 2, negative 8, but x to negative 1 and the positive 1 got cancelled. And then 12, x to the negative 1. Good. Okay, let's do the simplification. I see a negative 1 and a negative 1. I see a square and a square. And then I also see the constant. Okay, let's use a let's use a, a different color. So I see a negative three x and a negative three x and then the four one and then the eight. Okay, let's let's do the writing. So we have f prime of x equals to x squared plus two x squared. So that is three x squared. And then uh, we have negative 3 minus negative 3 that is equals to negative 6 and then anything else we have a uh, negative 1 power right so negative 2 plus negative 12 plus 12 so that that got cancelled so this one got cancelled and then we have a negative 2 power right so we have a plus 4 x to the negative 2 and then any constants. Constant we have 4 plus 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 minus 3 is 8. Uh, 5, 5 minus 8 is equal to negative 3. So minus 3. Okay, let me check my work. So first, the negative 12 and the positive 12 got cancelled. x squared plus 2x squared. That is 3x squared. Minus 3, minus 3. That is minus 6. The 4x to the negative 2 is carry over. And then 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 minus 3 is negative 3. Okay, everything looks fine. All right, so that is the derivative of the second function. Okay, so that is also the end of this video. If you think my instruction is helpful and clear, give me a like, share the video for me, click the subscribe button if you're on your way out. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing out.